Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, I want to talk about the 3.8 threaded MRQ213, which is a 17 and a half foot stainless steel telescopic antenna available from Moonmaker here in the UK. Now, if you're not in the UK, you can still get one of these types of antennas from various places, such as AliExpress or even MFJ, but just keep an eye on the price. So as this antenna can extend up to 525 centimeters, and then when collapsed just 76 centimeters, its length can be changed so it acts as a quarterway vertical from 20 meters up to four meters. Now, of course, you don't have to just use it as a quarter weight vertical. You could use it as a straight dipole, assuming that you have two of them or even a V dipole. The plastic 3.8 threaded dipole centers would most likely work OK with the antenna retracted quite low. So just on the upper bands. Alternatively, you could use a metal dipole center like this one, which I use two MRQ 213s to create a four meter 70 megahertz dipole. Now this bracket is also available from Moonmaker if you want to get one. Now for this video, I'll measure out the antenna using a tape measure and aim to get it around 505 centimeters. This should give me a good match on 20 meters. Now this is easily achieved by laying out a tape measure on the ground and then adjust the antenna to the right length or thereabouts. Now as this is going to be ground mounted, I'll be using the Ampro portable ground mount. Now this kit consists of an earth spike, a nice angled antenna mount already fitted with a 3.8 thread and SO239 and a long patch cable. I've attached four five meter ground radials, which are not included in the Ampro kit, and they're just attached to the bracket and then laid out across the garden in a cross configuration. I'm then connecting the coax patch cable to the Ampro mount, and then I'll just run that coax off to the summer house while I'll set up my G90 radio. Attaching the antenna to the mount is fairly easy as the MRQ213 is not that heavy and can be adjusted with just one person. So if you're tuning for the higher bands like 10 meters, then it'll be even easier as the antenna won't be as long and won't flap about as much. So here we just attach the antenna's 3.8 thread to the Ampro 3.8 socket. The ground spike is far enough in the ground to support the entire weight of the antenna. It may be a bit hard to see the antenna on camera with the sun dried grass in the background, but this antenna standing at five meters tall for 20 meters, it looks a bit of a monster. Of course, if you wanted to, you could use this antenna on your car, obviously not while driving, but static mobile, it should work really well. So with the antenna all set up, it's now time to check the SWR using my VNA. Now this VNA is awesome and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. As we can see here, and to my surprisement, 20 meters has a lovely low SWR across the entire band. In fact, I was quite surprised at the available bandwidth. At 14.055, the SWR was reading at 1.46, and at 14.355, it was reading as 1.23. Now looking at this plot, the antenna did look a little short as the dip was towards the top of the band. Notice how the impedance gets closer to 50 ohm as we reach the lowest SWR point. Now we've checked the tuning, let's take a listen on the bands to see how well it works. Of course, it's just my luck that conditions were absolutely abysmal at this time of day, but I did manage a couple of contacts using 20 watts from the Zygu G90. Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, five and seven, five and seven, QSL. CQ, 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 Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey, M Zero, DQW, calling CQ, CQ20, CQ20, Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey, calling CQ and listening. Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Queen Whiskey Met 5.9. Yeah, you're 5.9 plus 10 into the UK this evening. Lovely signal. Uh, 7.3. Met 10 over is 9. Good evening. Oscar Mike 3 Tango Whiskey Mike. Yeah, he does look well. You're the strongest 
Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. You're 5959. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. You're also 5973. Yeah, 73. Bye bye. Bye bye. Lima Zulu 20 Alpha Radio Delta Focus. Did you do that? Calling Dog X Ray. Florida A's Norway, America Norway. So the last couple of QSOs there, you would have noticed they were on 40 meters. Now, while this receives very well, I wasn't able to transmit because the antenna was not tuned. Basically, it's just not long enough as it is. I did try the internal tuner on my Zygu G90, but unfortunately it didn't provide a good enough match. Now what you could do in this situation would be to use a coil at the base of the antenna, something like the Slidewinder DX or even a homemade 3D printed coil. Unfortunately, I didn't have any of these on hand to test. Now as mentioned before, this antenna could work well using on a car. If you'd like to see how well this performs on any particular band or even out mobile, then let me know in the comments and I'll create some more videos. Don't forget, all the links to these products used in the videos will be below. Massive thanks to all you patrons and YouTube members, and of course you guys, the subscribers and viewers of the channel that help keep it going. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.